Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today we're going to talk about our BT series, the three-wheel electric uh, model trucks that we have. This, tr this particular truck right here is a 4,000 pound capacity. It comes in 3,000, 3,500 pound capacity and it also is available in either 36 or 48 volt. One of the neat things about our three-wheel electrics is the tires. It's a tire choice whether you want to be a cushion tire, hard rubber tire for indoor use. But if you want to take this truck outside, you can actually get an optional pneumatic, solid pneumatic tire, which gives you a, a little softer ride and able to go outdoors in the weather with those tires and not get stuck in the snow and rain if, if so needed. So, I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the features and benefits about these trucks that have been really making this truck become one of the best three-wheelers in the industry. Okay, we're going to start with the front end of the truck. Doosan actually manufactures all of our own mass for all of our products. So it's really nice in that we have control over the quality and this is a very strong mass that we use on this truck. It comes in standard mast, uh, two-stage mast with free lift, or like this truck here has a uh, triple stage mast on it, which is the most common. And this triple stage mast is what we call a wide view. So we, we've opened up that center to give maximum view through the, through the forks for the operators to enhance safety. One of the things that you'll notice too is the routing of all of our hoses and, and chains. We try to keep everything tight, compact, in behind the thickness of the, the cylinder, the free lift cylinder itself. So again, to maximize that view through the mast. You'll notice that we use Parker hoses. Probably Parker is well known as high quality hoses. So it's, a, it's not a uncommon or something hard to get a hold of. We stock all of this stuff in our headquarters. Um, the other thing is our carriages. These carriages are six roller carriages, very, very strong. Uh, the truck comes with either a hang-on side shifter or you can get what this truck has is a uh, integral side shifter and the truck's actually also, also offered with a side shifting fork positioner. So there's three different attachments that Doosan offers on this product right here. So one of the things I want to point out, and you'll notice uh, with Doosan equipment, our mast are, are built very sturdy. So when you fully extend the mast, what we do is we add extra overlap between the rails. So if you kind of think about it as a extension ladder or interlocking fingers. When you extend the mast out, if you have the connection point real close to each other, you, you get an unstable condition. So you'll notice that Doosan has a couple extra inches of overlap so that that mast is nice and sturdy when it's fully extended. So next we're going to talk about uh, the operator compartment and some of the safety features that we put in our lift trucks. Um, you can see by these stickers, there's a few things on here. There's the EBP, the ODB, and the GSS. So what that stands for is the e EPB is the electronic parking brake system. And we'll talk about that when I get into the uh, operator's compartment. But this truck, like all of our sit-down counterbalance trucks, has oil-cooled disc brakes. Doosan has really been the leader in, in this type of uh, feature. So we've actually been doing oil cool disc brakes. This design was originally put out there in the early 80s. That's how long we've been doing it and we've really perfected the oil cool disc brakes. And it really shows in our warranty. So the warranty on our braking system is five years, 10,000 hours and that is parts and labor. Think about that. If you think about, if you go back through, if you're a current lift truck user and you use shoe brakes, probably the number one repair you have over the years consistently 
is brake related problems. Shoe brakes, they squeal, the brake dust builds up in there and it squeals, you gotta tear apart the brakes, blow out the brake dust, you're constantly adjusting it to keep up with adjustment, you have lockup problems. And of course, you can just get uh, gear oil into the system with leaky seals. Well, our system is designed to run in the gear oil. That's why it doesn't wear out. So this system, again, five-year, 10,000-hour warranty. If you are a person who leases trucks and you have a five-year five lease, that's 2,000 hours a year, you're really, you're guaranteed to never, ever do a brake job or have a brake-related repair for the entire lease. So the oil cool disc brake system really helps prove out that our trucks have the lowest cost of ownership for customers um, when you take in that you don't do any brake repairs. So GSS system, again, this is a system, it's called the Guardian Stability System. And what that does is it helps the operators operate the truck in a safe condition. So what we do is we monitor lift height of the truck. All trucks with AC drive systems like we have, AC technology has brought a lot of adjustability to the performance levels of lift trucks. So all trucks monitor steer angle and slow the truck down when you turn, but the GSS actually, when you lift above free lift or your second stage is engaged, it recognizes that and it doesn't let you tilt more than two degrees forward and it also slows the truck down to 50% speed. It doesn't matter if you're turning or going straight, so it helps your operator stay in a safe condition. So before I jump up into the operator's compartment, I want to talk a little bit about our seat here. So um, we get a lot of compliments about the seat. It has its suspension, so it's spring-loaded, so it has some give. The front of the seat has an adjustment for different weight, weight of the operator, so you can stiffen it for heavier operators, lighten it for lighter operators, so you get a nice cushioned ride. Uh, the adjustment for forward and back is on the right hand side here for moving the seat forward and back. We also, you know, really tall operators, they, they tend to like to recline so that they can feel more comfortable, get their arms further away from the steering column. The other thing is a key feature is our orange seat belt. So it's been more and more important um, for companies to make sure their operators are wearing their seatbelt like they, they're supposed to be doing. So there is an optional feature where we actually tie the seatbelt into the electronics. So if the seatbelt is not clipped in, the lift truck will not move or the hydraulics won't work. So, but to ensure that your operators are not just clipping in the seat belt and then sitting on it. We made it orange so that you can see that it's being worn. The other thing is all different kinds size of operators out there, right? So one of the complaints we've heard over the years was the seat belts are too short, larger operators, it's hard to get it around them. Well, you don't have to worry about that on a Doosan because we make it extra, extra long. So it's typically not an issue. One of the other things is a pet peeve on operators is uh, clinching seat belts. So you're constantly traveling in reverse and you're pivoting your hips to look where you're going. So what happens is your hip keeps pivoting and pulling out the seat belt. Well, on, a, on many OEMs, you pivot and then it, it locks. And, and when you pivot back to straight, it comes back in, but it locks again. And what happens, it keeps locking, locking, and cinching on the operator. And, you have, and then the operator has to unplug the seat belt, fully retract the seat belt, and then plug it back in. You can imagine if this is your office 
and you're in it eight hours a day, that can become quite annoying. What's nice about Doosan, if I pivot fast enough to lock it, and when I turn back, it's released again. You don't have to release the seatbelt completely in order uh, to release the locking mechanism. You can see, you, you can move pretty quickly on this without actually causing um, the seat belt to lock. You got to really jar it. So, but no concerns if what you would consider like a slow tip over. If, if we were to This seat knows the angle that it's at. So if I slowly, I'm gonna slowly pull out the seat belt, once it gets to a certain angle, it's locked. So if it tips back, forward, side to side, that seat belt's gonna lock when it gets to the angle. When it's back straight, it works. So really cool safety feature. I'm gonna go ahead and climb in. You can use the hip restraint. We've got a handle mounted on the overhead guard, low step height, nice curved seat so it's really easy to slide into this truck. Super simple. Steering column is on a gas cylinder. There's a switch right here, or a lever I should say. So it, it's infinitely adjustable. I can put this steering wheel wherever it feels comfortable. As you can see, I can just push the lever and the steering wheel will pop right up because it's on a gas cylinder. So I bring it in where it's comfortable. You can see this truck's equipped with the optional fingertip controls where the, I'm gonna pull this up here. Forward reverse switch is right here on the side of the palm rest and the horn button. So I can operate that with my, my thumb, lift, lower, all of that stuff works right here with your fingertips. So what's nice about this fingertip control system, it's adjustable too. So we have this adjustment down here where we can raise and lower the, the fingertip controls to wherever it's comfortable for the operator. So if you want it, your elbow a little bit higher, you can raise it up. You can slide it forward and back depending on how long your arm is and make it adjustable and comfortable to use. So the other thing is we get a lot of questions about the how they actually work. Because many, many systems out there, the raise and lower function is really just stage speeds. You pull it back and it goes slow you pull it back a little farther and it kicks into medium speed. You pull it back all the way and it kicks into high speed. There's no feathering or no slowing control. So what that means by having linear control is if I pull back slightly, you can see how slow I can make that mass raise, right? And just the more I pull back, the faster it goes. It's not in stages. Pull back all the way and it goes as fast as it can go. And it's the same function for tilt and, and I can tilt slow or if I pull back faster, it tilt faster, side shift, same thing. We just heard an example of the GSS system. So if I'm tilted all the way forward and I raise above free lift, sounds an alarm. You notice it doesn't shut off the hydraulics. It just sounds an alarm because it's warning the operator that you're, be careful, you're in an unsafe condition. So what you want to do to make the alarm go off, you just simply tilt back inside of two degrees and the alarm shuts off. So the forks are level now. And it's actually quite handy if you're going into racking at higher levels because now that I'm above free lift, it will not let me go past that two degree mark. So the alarm sounds, when I hit the two degree mark, I pull back, it shuts off the alarm. Now I know my forks are level, I can get into the product without damaging the product or the racking. So we'll go ahead and lower this back down. 
So one of the other things that you'll notice on our fingertip controls, and actually if you get the standard truck that has standard levers, um, it also has an emergency stop button located right near the operator. Even though you do plug the battery in next to your leg, um, OSHA standards require that if something were to go wrong, um, a short or something like that, or as we refer to, the truck starts letting the smoke out, you have to be able to unplug the battery from the operator's compartment. The reason that even though we have the battery plugged in from at the operator's compartment, we still have an emergency stop switch is because emergency stop switches are required for EE rated trucks. And all of our sit down counterbalance trucks come standard with EE rating. So what does that mean for you if you don't need a certified truck that's EE rating? You get the added protection of EE rating. So what you get basically you're spark proofing the truck. And the main thing that you're getting is the EE rated Curtis controllers. Curtis, uh, we use those to control all of our electric products. Curtis has been around for 30 years. They're well known. They're kind of gold standard in the industry for controller systems for electric lift trucks. So they're easy to work on. Just about any dealership would know how to work on those. And matter of fact, a lot of our customers already know how to work on them. So the, the Curtis controller is a sealed unit and it's uh, the ingress protection or the IP rating for the Curtis controller is 65. And, and 65 stands for 100% protection against dust and dirt and it low power water jets from any direction. So literally you can spray water on our controllers and it will not get inside the controllers. So you have that protection to be able to go outside or go into freezers, in and out of freezers, no problem, right? Because the, the, the moisture cannot get inside the controllers and that's where it causes damage. You probably notice our LED lights standard on all of our trucks, LED. So again, EE rating standard on all our trucks. You don't have to pay extra for that. And you'll notice too, we have 12 volt power source here. And we also have a USB power source here too. So no, it's not for charging your operator cell phones. It's actually there because a lot of people who use these trucks use scanners and things like that where they, they, they can charge their scanners and handhelds while they're on the truck too. So very important paper clip holder, pencil holder. And one of the other safety features is the, that we started doing at Doosan as it really kind of innovated this and, and brought it to the mainstream is a lot of these trucks get tr drove in reverse, right? You have a load on, it's hard to see around, so they're taking it to the trailer in reverse, right? Well, the problem with uh, most competitors' trucks is the natural thing to do is to put your hand around this rear post, right? Well, that's a pinch point, and, and we understand that we want to protect the operator. So what we have did is put a rear grab bar here for the operator to hang on to. Right, that eliminates that pinch point. The other thing is, if I'm traveling in reverse, obviously I wanna look in the direction of travel, right? I wanna maintain control of my truck. I always wanna be holding onto the steering wheel. But when I come to an intersection, how do I honk my horn, right? I either have to let go with the rear post and honk this way. Now I'm not looking in the direction of travel right and honk the horn here or I need to let go of the steering and honk the horn with my left hand so I can still look in the direction of travel so we easily fix that you see this little red button right here now I'm looking in the direction of travel maintaining control I'm using this little red button on the on the handle to honk the horn at the intersection small thing 
that operators appreciate and safety managers really appreciate. One of the other really nice things about the Doosan truck is the information center or the dash display. So you can see here we have this ESH and this is three predetermined performance levels that are built into the truck. Economy, standard, and high performance. So it, it is exactly what it sounds like. Economy is slower travel, slower lifting, which uses less power. Standard is a little faster lifting, a little faster travel. And then high performance is, is the fastest predetermined travel and lift speed. Now, you can go in and customize these things and actually high performance isn't set to the fastest the truck absolutely can go. It's just set at a predetermined speed. So that can be adjusted. Battery uh, discharge level, hours, Mauer's power are shown uh, here when you start to move, right, and speed. And you can see the little parking brake emblem. So what's really neat about this truck, it has an electronic parking brake on it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give it a, some, some uh, accelerator input and hopefully you'll be able to hear the parking brakes release. You'll hear a, a clicking noise. And then when you sit, you hear it click, click back in. So it's got a, a magnetic spring with magnetic override parking brake. When this truck sits for just a few seconds, the parking brake automatically sets. That means you, the operator doesn't have to remember to set the parking brake when he gets off the truck because it sets automatically. The, the operator can't forget to release the parking brake and take off and burn up the brakes because they forgot to release the parking brake. As soon as I try to travel and I give it any acceleration input, it releases the parking brake instantly. The last feature I want to point out is this right here. And this is a steer angle indicator. So you can see that's a picture of a little steering wheel with a dot showing that the truck now is turned so that it's going straight forward. If I were to turn the steering wheel to the right, you can see the dot showing that I'm turning to the right. Now I'm fully turned to the right. I can go back to the left, back to center. I know I'm going forward or I can go to the left. So it's really important in that operators can get themselves in a position where they need to be in a tight area, crank off the wheel to try to get into a load. But then when they go to back up on a three wheeler, especially, they can't just look over the side and see if their wheel is straight. But on our truck, they can look down at the dash and they can tell that their wheel is straight and it's safe to back out without running into somebody or something. Like other three-wheelers in the market, this three-wheeler uses dual drive motors, right? So it has two drive motors up front. And what that allows you to get is more maneuverability. Because what will happen is, as I'm driving forward, both wheels are turning forward, okay? And as I turn, let's say, turn to the left, right? What will happen is, the inside wheel will start to free coast, and it'll only drive with the right wheel to start helping it turn to the left. And then, and then when you crank it all the way off, you go from both wheels driving forward, to one wheel driving backwards and the other wheel driving forward. Try to spin your fingers like that. So, and what that does is it allows this truck to literally spin in its own length. So really essentially what it has is zero turning radius, right? And, and it can do that because one motor spinning forward, one is spinning backwards while you're totally cranked off. And the, and the steer tire itself can turn at a 90 degree angle. So speaking of the steer tire, 
you'll notice that Doosan uses a dual steer tire system instead of a single system. So, and, and how does that help you as, a, as an owner? Well, when, like I said, it turns at a 90 degree angle. And especially when you're sitting still and you're turning, if you have a single steer tire that is in contact with the floor surface and I turn it, that tire is scraping on the ground, right? And that's what helps wear that tire quicker. You know, when you have a dual steer tire system and I try to turn it, what happens is the tire rolls. So when I'm turning the wheel all the way one way, right? One tire will turn forward as it rolls and turns. So it eliminates that, that scrubbing and the wearing of the tires so your tires will last longer. Of course, you have two tires that are sharing the wear surface so it lasts longer for that reason too. So that concludes what I wanted to talk to you about, about our three-wheel electric product. I hope that you'll consider us in the future for your future purchases. And I hope you see now why Doosan is quickly becoming the best lift truck in the industry.